Hey there, YouTube. This is Michael with Michael Makes Leather Works. I'm back with you guys today with a agenda-free review video of the Dream Factory large stitching pony. Now this item uh, is made in Korea uh, and can be found at dreamfactorykr.com. Uh, links for this will be down in the description uh, if you're interested in uh, checking it out. With that being said, um, sewing is an instrumental part to almost every project as we as a leather crafter do. A good stitch line can make or break your project and having a good stitching pony I believe is instrumental in helping you achieve that. Now anyone in this craft, whether you do this as a hobby or where you do this as a side business, everybody knows leather working is not cheap. The tools are expensive, our materials are expensive. So with these reviews, I'm trying to kind of cut through the BS and let you guys know, hey, are these products worth your money or should you pass these up and look for something else? I'm not trying to convince you to buy these or anything that I review. I'm just trying to get information out there on the quality of the products, what I think about them, and everything I say is my honest opinion. I've had this particular item here for about two months now. <clears throat> um, so I have used this on quite a few of my projects over these past couple months. In my search for a good stitching pony, I at first made my own. Now this is a stitching pony that would look familiar to a lot of you guys. Uh, it's made to go underneath your legs when you sit down. You clamp your project into here. You would put a vise or a clamp here for your tension, and then you would use it to sew. Does this work? Absolutely. But you're stuck with that, you know, and, you know, being able, to, you know, to just rotate your project. And for me, I've got a bad back due to a motorcycle accident. Um, I needed something that would give me some adjustability in my sewing. So when I was looking to upgrade, I looked on Amazon, I looked on Etsy, I looked just on the web in general, and I came across a Dream Factory on Etsy. Uh, after looking over their products, I reached out to the owner and asked if they would send me one to review uh, for you guys for my channel. And he was gracious enough to accept, and he sent me out this large model here. Now, upon receiving it, it was packaged very well. Or there was no damage to the box or to the, the items that were shipped to me. Everything uh, was received in really good condition. The um, fit and finish on this is absolutely excellent. Uh, you can run your hands over it. Um, it's very smooth. There's no little, you know, sharp pieces uh, anywhere on it. Um, very, very well manufactured. Um, very simple to use, and I do like the small form factor of it. Now, you've got a small knob here, and you've got a large knob. The large knob adjusts your jaws. So, we'll open up the jaws, and then that will allow me to fold this out. The small knob adjust your tension for the lower part here, which will attach to your table. Now this, when you put it up, this has to be down uh, so that it'll fit over top of this little block here where you see my thumb. Uh, but when I'm getting ready to put it on my table, I'll, I'll rotate it up a little bit. And if you're doing this on wood, I would definitely put a piece of leather here so it doesn't mar up your table. Now I'm doing this on granite, so I'm not gonna be worried about that. But you just set that and set that there. Give it a few turns here. And you don't need to get this super tight, you just need it to be snug. Now once it's on there, um, I've never had this come off on me while sewing on a project. And again, what I like with this over the one that I, I made for myself, and like I said, I used that one for years, is the fact that I have the ability to change the angle at which I'm sewing uh, on my project. So if my back's starting to bother me and I need to back up a little bit and change my angle, 
I can easily drop this down, up away from me, whatever I need to do uh, to work on my project. I really like having that flexibility. Now the jaws that you uh, should be able to see here, there's a white spring. So when I rotate the large knob towards me, you can see it automatically opens. Um, you get a nice wide opening here. I believe, let's see, we'll put a tape on it here. Uh, yeah, you get about one and a half, just about one and a half inches on the opening there. Um, you've got about two and a half inches on the width here on the jaws. And then you've got a throat depth. I think this is about nine. Yep, right about nine and a half inches. So definitely have a lot of room here um, to work on even large projects like bags and whatnot. Um, I've sewn up holsters. I've sewn up axe head covers, knife sheaths, belts, um, masks, many, many different projects I've worked on over the past couple of months. Um, and this has served me very well. There were no instructions that came along with it. Um, as I was using it, I was like, man, it would be great if this had some magnets in it. Uh, as you can see, there's, there's no places where you can see magnets. There's nothing on the, the face or the back here. A lot of times on other models by other manufacturers, you'll actually see the magnet. Um, well, I happened to be sewing and I ended up dropping my line and when I did that, you can see right there, there, there is a magnet. There's a magnet on both sides, but the position of the magnets aren't marked. And with not having the, uh, any instructions, um, there was no way to know that that was actually there, but it does have magnets. So that that's a nice feature. Now for me personally, the only, and I wouldn't even say this is a negative, you know, this is made in Korea. You know, people in Korea are generally smaller. They have smaller hands. They're generally smaller people uh, than I am being an American. Uh, this small uh, knob here for uh, setting the tension for your angle. For me, it's a little close to the work surface. When I go to adjust this, I can't do full rotations. Um, I have to just kind of like baby step it like this. Um, you know, change it and then, you know, tighten her back down. You know, is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not. But in my opinion, if this were raised up about a half inch higher, um, and this extended up just slightly, uh, taking this from nine and a half inch throat to a nine inch, um, just to give us that extra space would, would for me, would make it a little more user friendly. The price point on this, um, it is over $100 for the large version. But they do, I believe, have three uh, versions of this um, available, a small, medium, and large. Um, but I have been very happy with it. And if you can't afford it and you're looking for a stitching pony, this is very well made. The shipping um, coming from Korea, I actually received this um, within a week of him telling me that, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to send it to you. So I, I was very surprised on how quickly I received this. Um, another feature of this is that, you know, we're done with it for the day. So we're going to disconnect it from our table. Now, like I said, if you try to put it up like this, it won't work because this is going to hit this right here. So what you have to do is just back this out a little bit to give yourself a little bit of space. And then that falls right into place. Turn the large knob here. And then, you know, you have that very small form factor to go back to. So this is really easy for me to just sit here under my table, like on top of my box of gloves uh, or on top of my box of uh, scrap leather. Uh, to keep it out of the way uh, and keep it from getting damaged. But as you can see, uh, it is very well made. Um, I have enjoyed using it. It, it is a very well made tool. Uh, just to show you guys, um, this is a couple of projects that I've made using that stitching pony. 
Um, this is an ax head uh, cover for a Viking style ax. Uh, has a longer uh, two and a half, three inch beard coming down here. As you can see, we have nice consistent stitch lines coming up the front. Um, she didn't want any hardware on this. So as you can see, I've incorporated a leather toggle and a thong for the closure. Get on the back here. You know, nice stitch line coming down. My maker's mark. Even went in, did a nice handle wrap here. Um, that way, if your hands are wet, that's really going to help you um, with your grip. And then uh, for the same customer, uh, here's a knife sheath that I've done. Um, you can see very nice, consistent stitch lines coming down front and back. And I also use the um, stitching pony from Dream Factory. Um, what I do is I set it in there um, and I put a piece of suede over it, uh, tighten it down. And it's great for using uh, for when I'm hand sanding my edge here. Um, you know, that's how you're able to get this just butter smooth and then apply a nice edge coat like this. But guys, um, that's going to be it for today's video. I do want to thank uh, Dream Factory uh, from Korea for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out any of their gear, um, I will have links to their uh, shop down in the description below. Uh, their website is dreamfactorykr.com. Do a close up on their logo there for you guys. And if this uh, video has been helpful, informative or entertaining to you guys in any way definitely appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already if you have any ideas for future videos i'd love to hear that in the comments below and you all be on the lookout for more videos to come thanks guys mm -hmm.